Candidates running for office in South Carolina can use campaign donations for a variety of expenses, ranging from staff to yard signs to even some meals. In 30 states, they can also use this money for child care, but not here, not in South Carolina. State House reporter Mary Green has details on a push to change that. This bill has bipartisan backing in the House of Representatives. Its lead sponsor, Representative Spencer Wetmore, was part of just 2% of legislators serving here in 2022 who were moms to children younger than 18. When we were first campaigning, um, yeah, it absolutely changed our campaign schedule um, so that, you know, we couldn't we couldn't do what we wanted to on the weekends when most people are home because, of course, Toting around a four-year-old doesn't exactly get you to 4,000 doors. <laughs> Wetmore's bill would allow candidates and office holders at all levels of government in South Carolina to use campaign donations for child care costs incurred while they're campaigning or performing official duties. Candidates running for federal office have been allowed to do this for several years. Under this bill, costs would only be covered for care from licensed providers to safeguard against abuse, and this could only cover incremental costs, so it wouldn't include normal child Child care or daycare expenses. What more hopes enacting this will bring the voices of more younger South Carolinians to the table at the state house and in other offices like city councils and school boards. Diverse democracy, diverse representation means that our policymaking process can represent all communities here in South Carolina. So ensuring that everybody in the chamber has diverse experiences from across our state makes sure that our policies really will reflect what our communities need. This bill would also allow campaign funds to be used for dependent care. For example, office holders and candidates who serve as caregivers for spouses and parents. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green.